Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a little quick pay, uh, pick a card reading for Friday the 14th of July. Yay, happy Friday! <laughs> but you know, it's timeless obviously. So pile number one is the Black Tourmaline, pile number two is the Red Jasper and pile number three uh, is the Moonstone. So uh, I will just give you a second to choose your pile. Um, you know, black tourmaline is very good for like protecting you from negative energy. So if you have like someone around that's kind of, you know, negative or like always has a go at you or they're kind of miserable or something, it's good to carry a piece of it. Just remember to cleanse it. <laughs> um, okay, so move these guys out of the way. Excuse me. <laughs> and pile number one, the black tourmaline. Okay. You guys have the gates of triumph, success expands in your life. You have the blue moon, believe in the impossible. It's a great song. <laughs> and you have uh, the eight of swords, helpless and hopeless. Okay, so you're coming to the end of some kind of long journey. Could be that you felt very kind of alone and in the dark for a long time and stuck, right? Because see this card here, it looks like you know, you have the trees there, so it's obviously like the person's supposed to have been in like a, you know, in the woods and not really been able to see where they're going or maybe things have not been great, been kind of sad or lonely or whatever, but they're coming to the end of that now out into the sun and you see you have the sun twice because I really like um, this version of the Eight of Swords because the Eight of Swords talks about being stuck, but it's kind of almost like a mindset. So you might have recently, or you might be about to kind of realize what's been keeping you stuck or like, you know, you like releasing a last kind of debilitating belief or something like that. Whatever it is, you're coming out of a stuck period. It doesn't even have to be that you were getting in your own way, although we, we usually are in some way, but you could be coming to the end of your hermit phase and it's time to go outside and play with the humans again, right? Um, and they're just coming through to say, like, I haven't pulled many cards today because uh, I just felt this was the right way to do it today. But with Believe in the Impossible, they want to tell you that the reason you've managed to get to this point, to this happy place, because this is a point where, like, I feel like all the success is coming in. I feel like this may be pertinent for those of you who've been in a hermit phase and it's, you know, very boring, the hermit phase, like nothing really happens and they keep you stuck. You know, you haven't got any friends and you're not really dating until, you know, like you've healed yourself, right? Um, and you can feel very stuck, but you've had a lot of courage. And even though you didn't know where you were going and you didn't, you know, <laughs> you've just been, I feel like a lot of you have just been on your own. You stuck with it and you believed in the impossible, you kept your vibration high, you believed in spirit, you kept your faith and that is why you're being rewarded with all these blessings that are about to come in. Because they're literally saying like open your arms because the blessings are about to come in. So that's all you need to know. Like if you've been feeling stuck, you're coming out of a stuck period, things are about to start moving and you're about to be very happy. Okay, because you see here, you know, I just feel like this is where you were. You've been in this like moon phase where, you know, all you had to, see there's the forest again. It's like you've been in the woods and all you had to guide you was the light of the moon and you can't really see anything properly by the light of the moon. You know, it's it's kind of a, um, a metaphor in the tarot for like using your intuition and just kind of having to believe you know, like you've believed in spirit and you followed your intuition because that's part of the spiritual journey is learning to trust your intuition because the more that you use your third eye, the stronger your intuition gets, the more you trust your gut. And the more that you start to do these things, the more powerful you become because no one can sway you because you see things. And also the more that everybody's like third eye opens, it starts to see through all the bullshit. Like, you know, everything that's going on in the world, like you start to see it clearly and that's what needs to happen, right? Um, 
so yeah, this is like they're say, they're coming through to say like, well done, you've been really courageous. We're really proud of you. You trusted in us when you you know you we asked you to, and now come the blessings. Okay. So that's your message pile number one. I actually kind of want to cry a little bit. So maybe that's how you're feeling. You're like, oh my god, finally, finally free. Uh, that's what it feels like. Okay, because the hermit phase can really feel like a bit of a punishment. You're just like, oh my god, nothing ever happens. Like, I'm so bored. But you're coming out of that now. So I hope that was a useful reading, pile number one. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Uh, pile number two, you guys had the red jasper. So you have, what do you have? You have the full moon eclipse. The conclusions are within reach. I wonder if you've, you were attracted to pile number one. <laughs> you have breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand and you have first light beginning a new cycle. So something you've been working very hard at, which could be anything, because you see here, you know, the little guy's hoeing, tough work, very hot as well. Um, and it always puts me in mind of the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like something you've been waiting for, like this new cycle is about to begin. Okay. And there, you know, if you've come here from pile number one, there again is the, the woods. It's like coming out of the woods out towards the sun. You know, if you were called to, I feel like you should watch pile number one, okay? Um, you also have, oh wow, you have the ace of uh, swords and you have the sun. See again, with the sun. This is something to do with coming out of the darkness into the sun. And I said this in pile one as well. You may be someone that's been going through like a dark night of the soul or your hermit phase. You're about to come out of that. Um, and I'm not going to repeat everything I said in pile one because it's very similar. But, you know, like I said, if you feel drawn to watch it, um, feel free to go and do that. But you're coming out into the sun, coming out of the woods, you know, no longer having to guide yourself by the moon, but straight out into the sun, beginning a new cycle. It could be some kind of communication that comes in, is the breakthrough, um, but it can also be like a mental mindset. And also, see here, this card always puts me in mind of the end of the hermit phase because you have the butterfly, which is like, you know, the metaphor for coming out of your hermit phase, because while, you, while you're in the hermit phase, you're in your little chrysalis, no one's really allowed to bother you. You know, you don't get to play with the other butterflies because <laughs> you're not really a butterfly yet, right? It's kind of like you're in between two worlds. You're not the caterpillar, but you're not the butterfly yet. So you don't really fit in anywhere. <laughs> you, you can't really find your crew. Um, but when you become the butterfly, then you go fight, you get to go play with the other butterflies, right? So I feel like this is a metaphor for a lot of you coming out of her your hermit phase. Um, and it's almost like, ah, oh, this guy is almost like spirit. You see the way he's like, oh, I'm so proud of pile number two. So proud. See how he's like touching his little heart and he's like, ah, oh, pile number two did such a good job. And now they emerge as a butterfly. Oh, we're so proud. He's like a proud parent. I also feel there's something with you guys about like with the shine card here, um, there may be a heart chakra healing coming. Like that may be one of the things that you were working on during your hermit phase was healing your heart chakra. Um, because maybe you were hurt in the past. When that happens, the heart chakra tends to sort of not close, but um, cause I don't feel like your heart chakra is like closed I feel you know that's not what I feel like here it's just that maybe you haven't always had unconditional love for yourself or you found it difficult to open up to people this kind of thing I feel like that's that's something that's coming to an end um also I feel like you might be moving into some kind of leadership position with the shine card like moving into some kind of position where you're like in the spotlight because it is yellow, which is the color of the solar plexus. So I feel like you might be about to experience like a huge 
solar plexus and heart chakra kind of cleansing and fully fully opening um so you'll be feeling like a lot more confident a lot more like if you suffer from social anxiety that will recede a lot a lot you'll feel a lot more comfortable opening up to people because you won't feel the need to kind of protect yourself so much anymore and you're going to be very happy pile number two okay and again spirit's just coming through to say because i feel like nobody really says this when you're on you know you're in your hermit phase and you haven't got any friends and you're not dating anyone you're like oh life is super boring like is any of this even real i don't even know anymore and like the only person you really have is spirit <laughs> They're just coming through now to say like, congratulations, like you've done really well, we're so proud of you. Because you have done really well. Remember like most people on earth will never take this journey. Like it, it feels like there's a lot of people undergoing this journey and there is. But I think part of that is that we have the online community. You know what I mean? But hopefully like more and more people will undertake the journey, but it can be very lonely. You know, uh, so spirit's just coming through to say like, well done. And it's nearly over, okay? So you, you're nearly, I, th I feel like you're there. You know, it's, it's this kind of energy where, you know, maybe you felt like you were kind of lost in the woods and then suddenly you see the end of the woods and you're like, huh, what? you know, almost like running <laughs> towards the end of the woods. And you're like, oh my God. I don't know if you've ever been lost in a real woods, but it's, it's very pleasant when you see the opening <laughs> and you see like the main road. It's like, oh my God, thank God, civilization. So you may be feeling like that, okay? Um, so that is your message pile number two. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, um, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Take care. And pile number three, you guys had the moonstone. Okay, let's see. So you guys have Far away places, get ready for new horizons and unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Okay, I don't know if this is metaphorical or an actual journey that you're about to take, but there's something here about you're being prepared or you're literally about to step into like unknown territory, like uncharted waters. <laughs> um, and there's this metaphor about the woods again that has been very prevalent in this, uh, in all the readings today. And it may be something, I don't know, maybe you're kind of resisting it because it's very unknown. Let's see what else comes out. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that shit. Step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. Uh-oh, okay, so this is gonna be something now, like I said, I have more cards here, but um, th this could be an actual journey. Like you're actually moving somewhere that's kind of really unfamiliar territory. Or it could be an endeavor that you're about to undertake that would be very different <laughs> for you. Like, oh my God, my throat, <clears throat> excuse me. So it could be something to do with speaking, maybe that you don't like. Maybe you don't like public speaking or you have anxiety around speaking, something like that. Um, but it's something to do with whatever this is will be very, it, it will be outside your comfort zone, okay? <laughs> but you know what? That's where we grow, man. It's where we grow. Oh, look at that. The throat chakra, just as I was coughing and splurring. So you have the throat chakra and you have the nine of pentacles, well-deserved reward. What I am noticing here is this little dude is like, quite high up on a pedestal, kind of in the spotlight. And you may feel, because that kind of almost looks like a target to me, you may feel for some reason from your past that when you put yourself in the center of attention or in the limelight, you become a target for other people. And that's a very common view uh, for people that have a blocked throat chakra. The reason being, if you want to know more about the, the chakras, uh, the throat chakra in particular, because it's something I struggle with myself, you should check out my other channel, How to Train Your Caterpillar, which is a spiritual life coaching channel, and the link will be in the description box below. But the reason a throat chakra gets blocked 
is like some kind of emotional abuse or bullying uh, in some way. So you maybe you were bullied as a child in school. Um, maybe you had, I don't know, something to do with your upbringing. Um, you felt like you couldn't express your needs or there's something here about you just kind of learn to, to just stop talking because every time you spoke up, you became a target. There's something like that from your past, but you are very much about to be like pushed, gently guided, <laughs> or you know that, I don't want to compare it to like a hard shove, but sometimes they do that. There's something, there's something new here to do with like speaking and being in the spotlight that will be very yeah, you, I, it'll, be, it'll be out of your comfort zone, okay? Now, the speaking thing, that can be writing. It doesn't actually have to be verbally verbally speaking. Um, it, it could be a YouTube channel. Oh, God, my throat's really going... <clears throat> Excuse me. It could be a YouTube channel. It could be, like, you have to give a speech. You're going to be, at, like, a manager. But, you know, sometimes managers have to give those stupid, like... <laughs> group meetings and like team building meetings and all that stuff, which can, you know, like debriefing, which can be terrifying if you have social anxiety, because that's what the throat chakra is all about. Like a blocked throat chakra equals social anxiety, like people equal fear, <laughs> because people equal bad things, people equal saying mean things to me, okay? So the nine of pentacles, it's something to do with money though, like whatever this is will bring in good money for you. Um, it's interesting that it's not the Ten of Pentacles because I feel like there's a double message here. It's it's like you're going to be in the spotlight, but it's going to make you money. But I do feel there's something about being, you know, seen that you may be resisting. You're like, eh, I don't want to do that. But that seems to be the way that this is going, <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles can talk about having your own business as well. So this could be like starting your own business, but it's, you know, you have to speak or you have to work with people, you know, in, in some way. <clears throat> My throat is really going here. It could even be like a motivational speaker that you're going to be or something like that, okay? But, and I find it interesting that they haven't told you exactly what that is. <laughs> like exactly what this is. Maybe some of you already know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave that there because sometimes they want a mystery and that's, that's it. So I hope that was a useful message, if not a little terrifying. <laughs> pile number three. Uh, thank you so much for watching and as always I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.